You can take the house, but you'll have to leave behind the breast implants. These are the pettiest and strangest things we found in celebrity prenuptial agreements. Coco Austin and Ice-T first met in 2001 on the set of a music video and got married just a few months later. They eloped to Las Vegas, deciding to keep their wedding a complete secret from just about everyone. In fact, the two didn't even make their first public appearance as a couple until after they tied the knot. What they did do, however, was make sure to have a prenuptial agreement to protect their respective assets in the event of a divorce. But their prenup is anything but traditional. And, and I goes, said, well, baby, you take the N off nice, you get ice. According to The Mirror, Austin is required to give her husband the rights to her breast and buttock implants if they split. As it turns out, only a portion of this might actually be true. In 2015, Austin was able to prove that her derriere is actually real, despite what people seem to think. So if she doesn't have buttock implants, it's possible that Ice-T will just retain the rights to her breasts, whatever that might entail. Fans all over the globe were thrilled when Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom got together, but prior to exchanging vows in September 2009, there was a bit of housekeeping they had to tend to. Between Odom's salary from his years on the basketball court and Kardashian's growing empire, the two needed to figure out logistics before they got married. Kardashian seemed to take full advantage of the prenuptial agreement, adding in some things that we'd consider downright snide. For starters, in the event of a divorce, which did eventually happen, Kardashian requested $500,000 for each year they were married. In addition, she was reportedly set to receive $25,000 per month, which didn't include a monthly shopping budget of $5,000 and another $1,000 for beauty care. Kardashian supposedly worked in some additional perks, like a new car at the end of every lease cycle, and courtside seats to the Los Angeles Lakers, not just for her, but for everyone in her family. Kim Kardashian may not have been a billionaire when she married Chris Humphreys in August 2011, but she had to make sure that she'd be taken care of in the event her marriage didn't work out. Spoiler alert, it didn't work out. The one shady thing that Kardashian allegedly included in her prenuptial agreement was a confidentiality clause, which was essentially like slapping Humphreys with an NDA that kept him from sharing any and all details about his time with the reality star. Well, shortly after the two decided to split, Radar Online reported that Humphreys filed to have the prenup dismissed. A source told the outlet, "...the confidentiality aspect of the prenup is extensive and was created just in case things went bad. Neither Kim nor Chris could discuss their relationship to the media. But now, Chris wants to be able to talk about their relationship without fear of being sued." We're not totally sure how things shook out for Humphreys, but we do know that he hasn't put Kardashian's private life on blast, so we'd assume the alleged confidentiality clause remained in place. When Nicole Kidman married Keith Urban, it wasn't her first rodeo. She was previously married to Tom Cruise from 1990 to 2001. Despite marrying a successful country music star, Kidman was sure to protect herself in the event of something going awry. According to Showbiz Cheat Sheet, a Kidman-Urban split would see Urban getting a lump sum of $600,000 per year that the two were married. However, there's one thing that would essentially void that clause. If Urban, who has been dealing with sobriety for years, began drinking or using illegal drugs, he wouldn't see a dime from his wife in the event of a divorce. Still, it seems as if the marriage is going strong. Just our favorite, I mean, he's my favorite person, so yeah, truly. About four years after Justin Timberlake's romance with Britney Spears ended, he started dating Jessica Biel, and while they first split in March 2011, the two found their way back to one another. Timberlake proposed in December of that same year, and they began planning their wedding. Part of that planning included a prenuptial agreement with one shady clause. According to the New York Daily News, Beale made sure to let her husband-to-be know that she wouldn't stand for infidelity. In fact, if he cheats on her, he'll reportedly have to pay out to the tune of $500,000. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones seem to have one of the most successful marriages in Hollywood. They tied the knot in November 2000, and as big-time names in the business, both Douglas and Zeta-Jones knew that they needed to protect themselves in case things didn't work out. According to the Daily Mail, Zeta-Jones will supposedly get nearly $3 million for each year she and Douglas were married if they decide to split. But that's not all. In an effort to keep any potential wandering eye in check, Zeta-Jones added an infidelity clause to the prenup. If Douglas steps out on her, he will add another $5 million to her payout in the form of a lump sum. What seems shadier still is Douglas's piece of the legally binding premarital contract. Evidently, the Fatal Attraction star put a claim on all wedding gifts that are worth more than $13,000, according to The Sun. 
Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt got together while filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and so Jolie was well aware of what could potentially happen between her husband-to-be and his co-star on a movie set. That may have caused Jolie to add an infidelity clause to the couple's prenup, but Jolie didn't want Pitt's money if he stepped out on her. She would just take 100% sole custody of the couple's kids, write our online notes. In September 2016, Jolie filed for divorce from Pitt, but it wasn't due to infidelity. In the time since, the two have been embroiled in a legal battle that includes just about everything that the prenuptial agreement didn't spell out. According to the New York Times, Jolie has made very damning claims about abuse. There's been an ongoing custody battle, a lawsuit over a vineyard they co-owned, and probably plenty of other things that have kept the two from officially moving on in their lives. But at least it seems that Pitt didn't cheat.